Hey guys, it's Layla from Ignite. If you like the content in this video, please do remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through a very candid analysis of one stanza in a poem to show you what you could do in exam situations when you're addressing a poem and how to really break it down. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just reflect on my go-to techniques for poetry. We have another video where I break down more generally how to address the poetic form. And I'm gonna take those aspects of form, select some of them and use them whilst reading through a stanza in a poem to show you how you can really go through a text and pick out techniques. The poem that I've selected is from Margaret Atwood's The Moment and I'll be going through just the first stanza. I'll read through it in full and then we'll go through and pick out some techniques. As a bit of revision in light of my previous video on poetic form, these are my five go-to techniques when addressing poetry. Now we have to keep in mind that poems are auditory texts, they're written to be heard, and we have to think about the musicality and the sounds that poems create. So keep that in mind as I'm going through the poem in the next slide. And just as a reminder, so when we're going through a poem, we want to consider the persona's voice, who's speaking to us in the poem, and are they directly addressing us? Are they using first person or is it a third person text? We're then gonna consider rhyme, rhythm, and meter. Is there a particular rhythm that's used throughout the poem? Is there a particular linguistic pattern, that being meter? And we'll see if that implicates the meaning that's being conveyed. We'll also keep a lookout for enjambment. So that's when we have one line moving on to the next without any punctuation, and whether that implicates the flow of the text. We'll take a look at sounds. Are there any particular sounds that are being used or repeated and what that might do in terms of impacting the reader and whether there is a volta. There definitely won't be volta because we're only looking at one stanza. And if you've watched the previous video, volta refers to a distinct turning point within the poem, wherever there is a tonal shift. And we typically wouldn't have that within a stanza. It would be throughout stanzas in a poem. All right, so let's take a look at the first stanza of Margaret Atwood's The Moment. I'm gonna read through it in full, as I mentioned, and then we'll go line by line and we'll do a bit of candid analysis. All right, the moment when, after many years of hard work and a long voyage, you stand in the center of your room, house, half acre, square mile, island, country, knowing at last how you got there and say, I own this. Now, if you are in an exam situation and you're confronted with a poem as one of the comprehension texts, for example, the first thing I would do would be to read the questions for that poem or that text prior to reading it, because that way you're a little bit more informed in terms of what you're taking away from the text, because you know the kinds of questions you're answering. And often the questions can guide you in terms of what the poem is actually about. But in this video, we don't have any questions. I'm just gonna go through line by line and show you how I pick out techniques, keeping in mind those key elements of form and the auditory nature of poetry. All right. We've got in the first clause here, the moment when pause. The fact that the syntax there has a three word clause and there is a pause after the moment dramatizes the moment that the poem is then going to go forth and unpack. So syntax is a technique there. After many years of hard work, we've got enjambment for one line from one line to the next. And we could argue the effect of that is that it elongates this year Ooh, these years of hard work which have contributed to this person's connection to the land, which the stanza goes on to unpack. Okay, enjambment there of hard work and a long voyage continues in that next line, you stand. All right, in terms of persona's voice, we've got the you. Direct second person appeal is the technique there. It addresses us very directly, being direct second person appeal, and has the effect of challenging us to consider more closely what the persona is trying to convey in terms of one's connection to land. You stand in the center of your room. So the repetition there of the second person appeal enhances our direct engagement of your room, house, half acre, square mile, island, country. Okay, so we've got a lot of listing here. The technique for listing is accumulation. If we look more closely, each word that is being listed here significantly increases in size, as though the persona's connection to their room is metonymic for their connection to country. So at this point, through focalizing that aspect of accumulation, the way that each particular piece of land 
increases in size. We've got a little bit of perhaps a foregrounding of this poem exploring national identity and how one's connection to their portion of land speaks to their connection to their nation more broadly. And as this poem goes on to continue, if you wanted to read the rest of it and try and construe the meaning, it is a poem that traces Indigenous connection to land and how that's been disrupted through colonisation. So that particular line holds a lot of significance in light of the poem. But you can see how picking up on the accumulation and just focusing more closely on why she's listed these particular words in this way opens the door to broader analysis. Okay, knowing at last how you got there, again, the direct second person appeal and say, I own this. Again, three word clause, the syntax is short. And within that particular clause, we've got a lot of high modality. I own this conveys this certainty that the persona has this very close relationship to their landscape. So looking back on that stanza, the aspects of oral analysis of the poem did help us in terms of persona's voice, the enjambment and how that sped up the rhythm. And then I picked up a few other kind of candid bits of analysis, particularly the accumulation and the metonyms. And I've just listed them here for you so they're a bit clearer. So we looked at the syntax, the use of pause, how that emphasized the moment. We considered the persona's voice, particularly the second person appeal and how that drew us very closely into the dialogue with the persona, encouraging us to consider how it would feel to have this connection to land. And then as the poem goes on, it then explores what it's like to be disconnected from that land very abruptly. The use of the enjambment, the increase of the pace, potentially even a rant that could be conveyed, exploring this connection of land that was disrupted by colonization. I think that tone is enhanced by the enjambment. The use of the accumulation, the metonymic value of being connected to your room and how that speaks to national identity. The high modality in the ending, the I own this, and the overall tone of connection to land that was conveyed in the opening stanza. Now, of course, under exam conditions, you wouldn't be expected to go into that depth of analysis. But I'm just showing you when you read any text, and in this case, it was a poem, you have to practice what's called active reading as opposed to passively reading a text. You want to look at it and you want to be within each line interrogating what technique is being used here. What aspects of poetic form are important in the way this text has been constructed? How does the auditory nature of poetry inform the overall integrity of this particular text. So I hope the way that I've candidly moved through that particular stanza gives you an insight of how you should interrogate texts, in this case, poultry. And I hope you've taken away the importance of considering poetic form whenever addressing a text. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please remember, subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications, like, comment if you'd like to as well. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.